Hola amigos, uh, this is the Spanish maestro, Sir Ahmad, with a new lesson for you today. Today we are going to uh, look at the difference between these two questions. Como es and como esta. Okay, both these questions mean uh, how is he, how is she or how is it. Okay, como es, how is it, how is she, how is he. Or como esta? Again the same thing. How is he? How is she? How is it? Okay, now where do these words S and esta come from? S is the third person conjugation of the verb ser, okay, which are permanent situations, and esta is the third person conjugation of the verb estar, okay, to be in temporary situations. Okay, so both these verbs uh, mean to be. Now let's let's look at some questions, okay? Uh, for example, como es Juan and como es la casa? Okay, now here we are using the verb ser. When we use this verb ser, uh, we are uh, asking or we are talking about uh, permanent situations, about characteristics. So these two questions, como es Juan and como es la casa, uh, mean uh, what is Juan like? What is the house like? Okay. Now the same question with the verb estar. Como esta Juan and como esta la casa? Now this is the temporary situation. We are asking about the state of a person or a thing here. In the question como esta Juan, we are asking about the state or the condition in which Juan is, which is a temporary situation. And como esta la casa, we are asking about the state of the house, okay, the condition of the house which is again a temporary situation. So th this is the difference between these two questions. Okay, now how do we answer these? Como es Juan? Now, this is a question asking about what is Juan like? What are the characteristics of Juan? So we have to answer this question this way. Juan, for example, uh, we'll give a description of Juan. Juan es alto. Juan es delgado y muy simpático. So Juan es alto, delgado y muy simpático. Juan is tall, thin, and very kind. Okay, now regarding the house. Como es la casa? La casa es grande. Okay, the house is big. So this is also a characteristic of the house. It's a big house. Now let's go to the question with estar. Okay, como esta Juan? Now we're asking uh, what is the condition of Juan? Okay, how is Juan? This is a temporary situation. So we'll answer it in this way, for example. Juan está bien. Juan is fine, or Juan está enfermo, Juan is sick, or Juan está cansado, Juan is tired. These are temporary situations, these are feelings, these are the state in which Juan is at that moment, okay? These are situations which can change. So this question is asked with estar. Now, como esta la casa? Okay, now we are asking about the condition of the house, in what state is the house? This is again a temporary situation, okay? So, la casa está sucia, for example, the house is dirty. Being dirty is a temporary situ situation, it can be cleaned. Or, la casa está desordenada, the house is untidy, the house is disorderly. Again, it can be tidied up. So, again, this is a temporary situation. So, for, th for these, we, we use the verb estar and make temporary questions. Now, some more in plurals. Okay, como son tus primos? Okay, uh, what are your cousins like? Como son tus primos? Okay, the answer could be mis primos son simpaticos. My cousins are kind. Okay, this is the quality of the cousins. Or como son tus hermanos? Okay, what are your brothers like? Now here you can answer it like, for example, mis hermanos son guapos. My brothers are handsome. Guapos means handsome. Okay, uh, guapo is basically used uh, for males, okay? If it was a female, we, we'd use linda, for example, okay? If it was hermanas, we'd say, if the question was, como son tus hermanas? We could say, mis hermanas son lindas, or mis hermanas son bonitas, right? Now, uh, the last question, okay? Como están tus o sus padres? Como están tus padres? We're asking in the tu formation. Como están sus padres? We're asking in the respectful formation, okay? So how are your parents? So what are your parents like? Como es, uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, como están tus padres? Uh, 
uh, how are y'all how are your parents okay uh, what are their feelings at the moment okay sorry i made a mistake there so como están tus padres uh, uh, how are your parents okay uh, what is the condition mis padres están bien uh, my parents are fine or oh, mis padres están felices my parents are happy this happiness is a temporary situation here okay they are they, they are uh, uh, probably maybe not happy by characteristics but they are happy at this moment maybe something nice has happened which has made them happy so this now we could ask this question in the uh, what is your, what are your parents like then it would be como son tus padres or como son sus padres what are your parents like then you would answer uh, the, the question uh, talking about their qualities okay then you could say mis padres uh, son for example viejos my parents are old mis padres son simpáticos uh, my parents are kind mis padres uh, son uh, flacos they are thin uh, permanent qualities okay so uh, these are the differences between a uh, uh, temporary question here and a permanent question okay como es which is formed by ser and como esta which is formed by estar hope you enjoyed my class hope you understood my class if you have any questions please ask them in the comments i'll gladly answer them for you thanks my friends for joining me today i'll see you again very soon hasta luego amigos